This is Jason Jones from Jason Jones AZ on YouTube. Um, I'm still continuing my Harry Potter walkthrough, and um, last time I left off, I was in the Gryffindor Lavendori, and this weird looking um, cabinet was eating clothes. But now I've finally gotten out of the dormitory. And this is where all the houses are, where people hang out. More like a dorm, yeah. And this took me a little while to refigure out because it had been a long time since I was in Hogwarts when I was um, playing through the levels after I completed story mode in one of my other files. And remember, I'm still doing post recording. So it's going to, so all this stuff, I'm just talking about how I'm playing. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good and I hope that my walkthrough is getting a pretty good view. So right now, the only spell anyone knows on your party would be Ron and his scabbers. Other than that, all you, everyone else has the default um, attack where you just press the B button and it just does it by default. <clears throat> well, hmm. I'm running out of things to talk about. Hmm. Well, you can actually interact with pictures here in this game. You can either press the Z button to make them change something or use your default wizard attack to change them. And all the ghosts around Hogwarts will lead you to your next destination. So, not all pictures will will move. Only some special pictures. And all the big blue arrows show you where you're supposed to go. And just to tell you, I'm recording on my, I'm, well, using a microphone on my dad's MacBook. Shout out to him for helping me make this possible. Well, here we're going into a classroom. In Lego Harry Potter years mm. one through four, it's like you're actually learning all the spells. First spell that you learn is Wingardium Leviosa. You heard me right, Wingardium Leviosa. You can move stuff and you can build stuff with it. It's not like in regular Lego games, where you just build it by using your hands. You have to use magic. But you, you just need to hold down the Z button. But to move stuff, you need to hold it down and use the control stick to move it around. So now Ron, which is like a klutz in this game, um, yet he's put some kids up on the ceiling. So Harry, Hermione, and Ron have to go ahead and help them. Which I have no idea why. Professor Flinch, or whatever his name is, that guy who was teaching him Wingardium Leviosa, did pick Ron. Look, it's a picture of a witch. That looks like a that looks like my sister on 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 picture there. <laughs> If you heard that, probably not. Eh. If you guys can hear this weird ha 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 noise, it's because of my sister singing. You probably can't hear it, but just giving you a shot. Mm. Jumpy by the party on the dance floor. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody call 911. Shopty fire burning on the dance floor. Oh, 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 oh. I just got Wingardium Leviosa. I have no idea I'm not why I'm singing, oh, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Okay, that was... I was just bored. Watching me do all the work just seems pretty boring, though. If I do live commentary, it'll just mess me up. Those tentacles are only for a spell called Lumios, which we will learn some other day. <sighs> but now we're going to the Great Hall. Through these doors is not the Great Hall, but the entrance. So, just something about Wingardium Leviosa, it's sometimes when you're moving stuff, you just want to highlight one thing, but sometimes it highlights another thing. And it's just, and you have to place it, stuff on it, and it just... This becomes a harder mess. More of those big floating arrows. How do people even get them up there? Are like, are they like ghosts? Ghost arrows. They kill people and then tell you where to go to get killed. So just to tell you. I was not in Hogwarts a lot when I was first playthrough in the game, um, so I forgot a lot of stuff about how to open doors, so forgive me if I sometimes are doing the wrong stuff. Remember, this is just a straight through walkthrough. We're not going to tell you how to get any golden bricks or characters. I'll do that in a separate, in a separate time, so yeah. Don't expect that yet. Cause remember, I'm not going I might not all be doing the all the years. So I won't so I might, but it's just a matter of how much time I have in my days. Cause I always have to do something fun in my day. <gasps> Chocolate it's a mess! Some stay dry and nothing spilling rain. Chocolate rain! Professor Quimby walks in talking about a troll. Yes, this guy's name is Quimby. Just for a spoiler alert, Dr. Professor Quimby is act actually has healing must not be named. Strapped on the strapped on the back of his head, which is actually Baldwin. So I won't ever be calling Voldemort he who must not be named. I'm not gonna be calling him that. It's just mess. Mess, mess. Mess, mess, mess. I am rapping on a recording. Scabbers. So the way you use spells is press the Z button to use spells, but to change spells in like story mode, use the 1 and 2 button. To change spells in, in free play mode, you have to hold down the C button and use the control stick just to move around and click. Then you have to let go to select something. And also to tell you, today was Easter! I got some pretty awesome stuff. I got a bunch of candy, and then I got these weird rocket looking things. Then I also got a Lego Harry Potter set, which was worth $50. And it came with lots of, it came with seven minifigures. Which I think so, or eight, I don't I could go look at the box but I got the battle for Hogwarts. So I got in that set another Harry, which I already had a few Harrys. Um, Neville Longbottom, which we'll be seeing here and, well, later in this walkthrough. Um, um, Gregory Goyle, which we will be seeing here too. Lucius Malfoy, which we will see in year three in year two if I ever do it a dementor which is like a, a guardian which we will we will if I get to year three we will see him well whatever they are is, is it he or is it her I've always wanted that and then let's see we got another spoiler alert uh, Lucius Malfoy is a death eater you can find that out in Order of the Phoenix, which is, by the way, is my favorite Harry Potter movie. My second would have to be, um, Prisoner of Azkaban, 
then the gauntlet of fire and my fourth would have to be uh hmm i would say sorcerer's stone fifth um the chamber of secrets um as my sixth i would say the chain the deathly hollows part two as my as my seventh would be the part one of Deathly Hollows, and as my la as the last one and my most least favorite Harry Potter movie, The Half Blood Prince, which a lot of people say it's pointless, and I agree except for one thing. Um, well, we learned that Dumbledore's dead, so that's that's the reason why it's important. And now we're facing our, our first boss. It's a troll. I think it, they called it in Sorcerer's Stone a mountain troll. And we have to use Lego logic to destroy it. And also, there are some things called students in peril. They are the students of Hogwarts who have been trapped. Like, the one in the first level, the magic begins, is trapped up on a ledge and has to be saved. I didn't do that because... I wanted to get done with the, the recordings. So with more Lego logic, you have to use your magic to hit back the rocks that he throws. I was doing some stuff because I was waiting for him to actually do something. Then he throws his rock that he found from the ground. You have to use Wingardium Leviosa. You have to hold it down and then just wait for it to hit. Then at the final strike, you have to go back over to him. Use Wingardium Leviosa, put his little hammer on top of him, and let go. It drops the hammer on top of him and mur and murders him. At least I think it murdered him. I think it murdered him. Oh no! <laughs> he just, ah, stupid stars, they stole our job. <laughs> and uh, boys in the girls' bathroom, I forgot to say that. Homosexuals. Homosexuals. See? There's four boys in the bathroom. If you can count Voldemort on the back of Doctor of Professor Quimby's head, then there's five boys and two girls in the girls' bathroom. This was a weird turn of homosexual events. Go away, Casey. I wanna see this. I'm recording my voice! Ca it looks like Casey's here to ruin, but I guess we can deal. Go away. Hopefully that's the last we see of her. Um, and we're reaching the end point. I hope you liked the part two of my of my walkthrough. Bye bye.